Shane O. Lex you can't. We're holding well. But it's not the best size actually. Huh? <laughs> fish of the day by Jay. That's not the best size. Hey guys, the first drummer. Um, what's about like, what do you reckon, like 42, 43? Oh, yeah, I can around that 43 mark. Yeah. It's called a cooked piece of corn. Yeah. As you can see, my hook is still stuck there. This uh, drummer's got a bit of a scar on his head. Head part of the wall or something, so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hello, viewers. It's Jay here. Master Fishing Master. I'm just going to share the gear that I'm using today. This is the uh, Type 3. This is the model that we're actually uh, testing out right now. It's the uh, Rambo type. Rating is about a 3.5 rod. With that, I've got the Daiwa Onaga Monster at the 4000 size. That's cool with number 6 uh, floating line. As for the actual rig that I'm using, this is the standard rig that I use for most spots. It's a uh, 1.0 float. And I've got my stopper. Alright, uh, just here. Down to a little Lumo B. And that's my uh, swivel. This is uh, number 6 trace, which is uh, 25 pounds. I've got about maybe 2, maybe 2.5 like meters of trace. Down to a 1.0 split shot, which is just above my hook. Number 13 now. My stop is probably set at about maybe 2.5 to 3 meters deep right now. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how, how I'm fishing right now. The drummer that has me right in, right in close to the wall right now, so I'm not even casting out. That's the ledge right there. I'm going to drop it right inside. Ready? Three, two, one. Stop there. It's going to sink vertically down now. It's about a... Uh, here, it's about five meters deep. Down there, it goes down to about two and a half meters. It's uh, shallow there. I think that's the drummer that right up and take in tight and just place. Could you get a net? Huh? I was saying, could you get the net?
Allah. <laughs> hey guys, just got a 56 mm drummer here on the IFL Excalibur Type 2. Yes, we're just gonna release it now. You put up a good fight. Huh? That is massive. I know, 56. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, you want to release it though. Oh, Shane! Oh, bro, bro, hey, wait, give me a second. Yeah, Shane, it's a great car. Hey, it's a great car. Nice, man. Nice to be hooked. There you go. Wait, I'm holding up for the video. Nice work, man. Nice crop off. Oh, you should. Nice. Good man. Um, hey guys, just some um, information about the gear I'm using today. Using the iFox Caliber Type 2. With that, I've got the um, Daiwa Tournament RCS Limited with a light, with a custom liver knob. Um, also, if you look here, this is actually a new line. It's the Marufuji um, Hybrid ISO line. So pretty much what it is is um, pretty much it's a mono core with a braid outer um, coating. So pretty much it's like a nice weave. Um, pretty much the benefit of using this line is pretty much it's thin and extremely strong. Um, also, uh, this is my first time I'm using it out today as well. So pretty much the line tangle is much less than braid, which makes it a lot easier to manage, and it's a lot um, and it's a lot more durable against abrasion. So um, when it scratches the rocks, etc., so pretty much it's much uh, more abrasive than um, using um, conventional braid. Um, also, the um, I think the biggest benefit of using this hybrid line is um, the sense of uh, feel. So unlike um, normal flowing mono, um, because this line has got no stretch, uh, pretty much you can feel everything in the wash. So pretty much when you're fishing by feel um, through either the line or the rod tip. So pretty much it's extremely sensitive and it's very good um, in, in that sense. The, f the flowing ca capabilities, however, um, it does float a little bit, but I wouldn't say it's a full float line. I'll, I'll rate it more as a semi-floating. Um, so pretty much a little bit about my rig. So this is AP, so this is number 2.5 in the hybrid. Um, I feel so about type 2, like I mentioned. Um, I'm fishing a total depth of around 5 meters today. This is actually a new prototype float that we have coming out. So we have a new range of floats coming out, which should be ready in around three months or so, which we're still testing. This is one of the shapes that we're testing. Um, uh, pretty much the shapes won't be identical, but we are just testing the quality of the floats, um, the buoyancy, um, the weight, the sensitivity and durability as well. 
um, for the rig so just got to this is actually a 1.5 there's nothing on it but we've tested it out and it works out to be around the size 1.5 with that I've got a rear flow stopper and also a 1.0 split shot on my main line followed by three meters of leader and I've got a 0.5 split shot on around halfway through my leader I'm running 16 pounds today and yes yeah, so pretty much that's how about my rig Being so sensitive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm You did a little break, that's a little break for. Oh, hey, really, really, hey, the hook fell out. Did it? Yeah. I'm not breaking the hook. I was uh, using crabs and uh, I had about four hits. Three times I pulled the hook, and the fourth one, this is what I got. Easy fight, um, I was fishing with a 30 pound trace and a green crab. <laughs> 